Hello ghouls and ghoulies, it's Douglas here at Drown Blade Productions, and today is a very special day. And why is that, you may ask? Well, a new ghost era is finally upon us. We've gotten a few morsels of the new era through Papa 4's makeup and costume reveal. However, besides Hunter's Moon, which I guess is supposed to be on the album, and perhaps it was just supposed to be on the album prior to it being used in Halloween Kills, if uh, what the interview was implying is correct. Perhaps it was already meant to be for this new album, but... The new era is finally here. We have a new single, we have a new music video, we have the name of the album released, an entire track list of the album, of course there's a tour coming up, there's already been pre-orders put up for the album, some new merchandise and stuff, the new era is officially here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. First up we had a few promo images of Papa as well as the new ghouls that were leaked and uh, we got some really, really cool images. I'm loving this nice backdrop behind Papa here. Of course, now we're seeing him now that his facial swelling has went down since the last time we saw him in the Doom Call. He's looking much better. As you can see, he's looking much, much more like himself. The ghouls, however, are not looking like themselves. They have an entirely new look, and this is pretty cool. So first thing I'm noticing is they have obviously just a full uniform zippers up the arms to the elbows it looks like, perhaps to provide some extra ventilation or, you know, just fashion. Um, then looking across their chest here, it looks like they have a leather strap with a brooch in the middle, and it looks to be the same brooch that was on Copia's cape, at least from what I can tell here in the pictures. They have some nice ornate boots as well, with I believe some Papa 4 logos on it from the look of it. And the masks. Now, everybody's been talking about these masks. They have been the main source of controversy since this information is leaked. And guys, I kind of like the masks. They do look to be some Bob Bassett work, but I've always been a fan of Bob Bassett's work in general. And they definitely are different because they don't overtly look creepy or evil or satanic. Obviously, they don't look like a devil, but they do have horns. If you pay close attention, there's definitely horns there. And of course, Looks like they have the mouths open for ventilation. And they have hoses running to the back of the mask and down the back. Now possibly, we can't see it here, possibly there's some sort of fan system or ventilation system that's hooked to these leather straps that are strapped to the ghouls. Maybe, maybe not, but just seeing that we have the hose leading down back, it could entirely just be part of the costume and non-functional. But I know it's hot wearing those masks and costumes for long periods of time and trying to perform in them, so perhaps there is some form of ventilation there. They do look very steampunkish. I will give them that. They look very steampunk-esque. However, it seems that this new era is more so going into the Industrial Revolution era. But overall, I really like the look, and I think it probably will fit the tone of the album and the theme of the album overall. So uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Or who knows, maybe this has nothing to do with the stage show and it's just some promo pictures. Well, there you have it. After Papa 4's surgery, he's healed up looking great. The outfit looks great. You really, really gotta love how intricate and awesome that whole Papa 4 getup really is. And the new ghouls, they're pretty cool. I don't think they're the coolest ghouls we've seen yet. They'll definitely take a little while to grow on me, but yet again, maybe they have nothing to do with the stage show. Maybe it's just promo material. So let's talk about that new single, Call Me Little Sunshine. Okay, so obviously, right off the bat, the name, pretty clear-cut reference to Aleister Crowley. I think most people get that. And of course, if you've seen the album cover, which we got to see after the song released and after the video released, it's pretty much a direct reference to Aleister Crowley as well. As for the song itself, I really like it. I do feel like it didn't have a really big build-up towards the third act of the song, I guess that had like a huge payoff. It felt like it could have built up just a little bit more, but still very good song, still very powerful, very catchy song. And I think this one's gonna be pretty awesome to hear live in stadiums. And as for the video, it's pretty badass as well. You have Mephistopheles here with these ever morphing faces. Keeps changing from male to female, just different people in general. I thought that was pretty cool. However, I think it would have been really cool to see it like morph in between all the different Papa faces for just a split second. Obviously, it's, I guess, unnecessary to be so overt and include Papa in every single video. As it seems, a lot more of their videos recently have been more cinematic than anything. Um, however, they could tie into the whole story of the album. I can already see how the song itself is going to tie in, like, even with Hunter's Moon. Some of it lyrically kind of works together. But I'm interested to see how it's going to fit overall with the full theme of the album and obviously hear the whole thing, which luckily, we won't have to wait too long because March 11th, it's finally releasing. So there you have it guys, the new era is finally upon us. What did you think of the new single? What did you think of the video? What do you think of the new look for the ghouls? 
Obviously, Papa's pretty close to how he looked the last time we saw him, but obviously the swellings went down quite a bit, so he's looking great, and I'm excited for this new tour and excited for this new album. Unfortunately, I will not be seeing them on tour, but still excited to see some of the live footage and uh, excited to hear this album, like I said, guys. And uh, I think that's going to do it for today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love you all, and see you next time.